I'm back. <laughs> hey guys. Um, so I just wanted to say, um, so I was thinking, and I, I know some of y'all that are probably watching this, y'all just seen the last one that I did, but I just wanted to bring up, because I'm trying not to use any names or anything, you know what I mean? And, and that's just being respectful to people, right? And, um, I let one slip, and I just went ahead and deleted the video because I think that that's only fair. And an in and an enemy, I can't even say that word sometimes, is a big thing, right? And um, so that that's kind of where I'm at. Is um, that's why I deleted the last video. But hey, so sometimes, you know, I know I know that a lot of us in this group we have come from a background of substance abuse, right? Addictions, things of that nature. And this is the thing, is that we know, we know God was working on our hearts. God was working on our hearts, even in active addiction, right? We know this. We know God was calling us out of that lifestyle. God was, you know, working on us. His Spirit was bringing our hearts back to life. He's, you know, the Holy Spirit is continually working on those uh, uh, that God chooses to work on right and so I just want to say guys that uh, um, there's a few instances in my life where I remember certain people um, that were that said things that made me sit back and look at myself and think and um, basically I ha I'll have like a mild moment of clarity in my mind right so there's a guy that I was staying with, I'm not going to say any names, and I just come out of the bathroom using, he looked at me, he's like, he's like, what are you doing? That's all he said, is what are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. But it wasn't like a condemning look, it's like, because, I mean, honestly, look into this guy's eyes, and he's just like, what are you doing? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know, and that, I, I just, that just sticks with me, because that's one of those instances, it's like, I didn't know what I was doing, you know, I don't, I didn't know why I couldn't stop doing what I was doing, right, I don't know why I couldn't quit using drugs, I, I didn't know why, so, this is what I want to say, um, one, if you have a small testimonial of when you seen that God was working in your life in active addiction and that he was calling you to be set apart, right? Calling you back to life where you seen that the Holy Spirit was moving even in your active addiction lifestyle. Post a small testimonial down at the bottom, right? Just write out a little small testimonial in the comment section on this video, right? Two, if you're struggling right now and you're in active addiction, I want you to be open to what the Holy Spirit is actually saying. What is the Spirit saying now? Do you see small instances where people are speaking into your life? I'm just saying, if you are, be open to what those people are saying, right? If you see that there's a problem, Let's let's seek to to get get a better mindset, you know. I mean, hey, you know what? When I when I got out of active addiction, I didn't know how to think. I didn't know what truth from lie was, right? All these false paradigms that I had built around all this selfishness that I had, it, it just came crumbling down when I had a little bit of a glimpse of reality, right? And that's a big shock to a lot of people. Well, I thought this was true, I thought this was true, I thought this was true, and come to find out, it was all lies, you know, it's like we're holding on to these lies, you know what I mean, and we don't know what truth is, um, but that's okay though, it's okay because I don't want to hold on to a lie, I want to know what is true so I can cling to that which is solid, which is true, is absolute truth. I don't want to cling on to false assumptions, false paradigms. I don't want my, I don't want a false sense of reality, you know? Um, have any of y'all ever read the book, The Giver? If you have, you know what I'm talking about. It's, I don't want a false reality. I don't want a false paradigm, okay? 
So, and I'm going to leave you guys with this because I got to get in here to work. Uh, this is Proverbs chapter 11, verse 2. And I love the book of Proverbs. It's, it's good. Um, when pride comes, then comes dishonor. The integrity of the upright will guide them. Wait a minute. I am said that wrong. Let me start over again. I'm sorry. Okay. When pride comes, then comes dishonor. But with the humble is wisdom. So, with humility comes wisdom, right? Why do you think that is? Because think about it. If I have a humble spirit, if I have, if 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 I'm humble in my approach to um, sobriety, right? I'm going to be learning from other people. I'm not going to be so prideful that I'm going to be shut. I'm going to have a teachable spirit, right? And and does anybody know the definition of wisdom? Because I just learned this recently, and it is it is wonderful. Uh, wisdom is the wisdom is the ability to get to an, a desired end. Wisdom is the ability to get to a desired end. So, what end am I desiring? Am I just you know? Am I desiring sobriety? Am I desiring a relationship with Christ? You know. Um, so, and wisdom is the ability. So, how do I have the ability? Well, I have teachers and mentors and sponsors that speak into my life that give me wisdom, right? I have the Word of God, which is one of the most important things, okay? Because, you know, honestly, this is Broken Vessels of Christian group here. So, the Word of God, we believe, is infallible, right? It holds all truth, all wisdom, right? So, in my relationship, my walk daily, my daily walk, by reading God's Word, I will be able to have the wisdom to walk that out in a way that is worthy and glorifying to God, right? So, I just want to leave you with that. Uh, wisdom is the ability to get to the desired end. So, what is my desired end? Think about that, guys. What is your desired end? Okay? And that's that's a question we all need to ask. Is it just sobriety? Is it, you know, is it just sobriety? Is it just getting these relationships back in order? What is your desired end? So, guys, I'm going to pray real quick. Dear Lord, I just pray, Lord, that you'll guide us, direct us throughout the rest of the day, Lord. I pray that we can cling to your word, the truth to your word. And walk it out each and every day. Um, walk it out today, just today. Well, let us walk it out just today, Lord. Uh, trusting in your word. Lord, I pray your word, with the reading of your word, it changes our hearts, Lord. It changes our hearts. Lord, I pray that um, we reflect on this video today and, and that we ask ourselves the question, what is our desired end? What is the desired end that we're seeking? Lord, and I pray that we can gain the wisdom to walk it out and reach that desired end, Lord. Um, Lord, I pray for any of those who are struggling in an active addiction. I pray that today that they can see moments where even in active addiction, you are speaking to their hearts. That you are calling them out of that lifestyle to forsake all those false idols and, and that false worship and turn to the true and living God. I pray, Lord, that you change our hearts and uh, just continue to give us the strength. Because, Lord, when we declare that we are weak, we are made strong. Because we're not relying on our own ability, but we're relying on your ability. And you are continually strong, Lord. We're relying on your ability, Lord, to see us through this day, Lord. We love you. We thank you. We praise your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks, guys.